Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you are most welcome again. So today we are going to look at something very important, and that is uh, about tables in Excel. And uh, here is an example of uh, sample data uh, that was drafted for an employee called Alex Bella, uh, who worked on several dates, and uh, uh, each date uh, has the corresponding hours and then we are going to uh, give uh, the rate uh, until which she was paid then we shall first calculate the gross pay and the tax and the net pay then after getting all that we shall uh, put all this information into a table and look at different ways we can format uh, our table so to start with uh, of course we have to give this table a heading uh, so we're going to say our table which is excel tables and then first uh, merge these cells so that our uh, heading can be in the center uh, increase the size and then bold it there we go so after that we come to our Excel data and this person uh, we can give him the rate of uh, say $25 so say $25 per hour and then uh, so we're going to say each and every hour this person was working for $25 dollars so we shall go ahead and enter 25 hours in each of this cell then i'll use the handle to fill the rest of the cells uh, so to calculate the gross pay i'm going to get uh, the number of hours worked times at the rate so here i'm going to say equal sign uh, this uh, the E8, which is a cell reference for this cell, times, I'm going to use times as the operator for multiplication, times the rate, which is 25, uh, which is the same as F9. So remember, in our previous examples, we said whenever you want to do any kind of formula in Excel, you need to start with equal sign, uh, followed by uh, the function or the formula. So in this case, I, I didn't use any function because I'm doing just a simple calculation. So here I'm multiplying this by this, uh, but I don't use uh, the lateral value or the real value. Instead, I used the cell reference uh, that represent these values. So after that, go ahead and press enter on the keyboard or on your Excel sheet, and then you get the answer which is 8 times 25, you get $200. Uh, to calculate for the less, click on the uh, on this angle, and then from there, extend, drag and extend outside to, see, to fill the city, and then the rest of the uh, values, the rest of the cells, uh, will be calculated automatic. So now we have seen on each and every date, when Alex worked, we have seen how much and as a gross pay. So we're going to calculate the tax. And here we assume Alex was paying 2% tax. Uh, so in this case, if Alex was paying 2% tax before, uh, immediately after getting the gross pay, so let's see how much uh, he paid as a tax. So we're going to say equal sign, then we say 2 percent means out of a hundred times uh, the gross pay uh, which is G8 for the base or initial value and then when you click enter and then meaning on the first uh, first day that is uh, February 1st he uh, when he worked for eight hours and the rate was twenty five dollars and the gross pay was 200 then he paid a tax of $4 on that day. So we are going to drag 
uh, outside uh, the selection to extend the city and then we see how we can automatically calculate for the rest of the days so uh, this is how the Alex was paying taxes now after paying the tax of course now what what is left is the net pay and that is what he goes with at home so we're going to see how to calculate the net pay so calculating the net pay of course we're going to get the gross pay minus the tax so we're going to say equal sign then we get the gross pay which is j8 minus uh, i uh, sorry minus the tax which is h8 then after uh, click on enter and then you get the net pay for the initial values and then drag outside to fill a series so that you get automatic net pay for the rest of the values so after doing that uh, this is now the uh, first step we have done we have calculated the gross pay the tax and then the net pay and then uh, the next thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to put these values into a table reason because uh, tables are very important because they help to organize our data especially we can do uh, we can remove duplicates we can sort our data we can do the analysis and a lot of things when our data is into excel tables so when you want to put this into excel tables first of all we're going to highlight the information or the values after that go to insert tab in the ribbon click on that tab then select tables after that you will get a dialog window where uh, they are saying where is the data for your table and here you will see uh, the formula in this box that is the formula range where which contains all the data in the, in the what uh, that we, we want put in a table and make sure that you check this where they are saying my table has headers the headers these are what you call like the employees the id dates worked hours rates and so on those are the headers each and every table in excel must have the headers so after that uh, if you confirm for example if you see b7 our table starts from b7 that is se column b row 7 so that's the first value which is employees employee is in the cell b7 and then it goes up to uh, uh, I23. This is I, column I, and then this is row 23. That's why you see uh, we have this. Uh, so literally, if you don't want, or if, for example, you don't have that formula automatic, you can also do it by <laughs> saying uh, put dollar sign, then you say B, uh, dollar sign B, uh, that is going to be another dollar sign uh, b7 so this one means uh, here I'm going to say b that is column b row 7 then 2 the range of uh, that's i dollar sign i and then dollar sign 23 so after that click enter I mean ok and then our table our data will be formatted to a table now you can see my data is in a table so the moment you do that uh, automatically in the ribbon of tabs you will see another tab which is table design so we can do different kind of designs uh, for our table and in this case uh, what we're going to do uh, first of all we can go to table styles and you can hover so we have different type of styles. You can hover to one by one and you see uh, which kind of style you want. Or you can select the new table style for yourself, a custom style. So for example, I choose this uh, table style. So when I click on that or when I select that, it will be automatically uh, it would automatically be affected on my table. So the rest of the thing 
if you are to realize, if you are to see this, our table has no name. So we're going to name this table. So you come here where you say table two, then you say, uh, put the name and say employee tables, employee. Or you can say Alex pay rate. So when I press uh, enter, you can see I have some errors where they're saying uh, to verify that the same na the name starts with the letter or underscore, doesn't include a space, and doesn't conflict with an existing name in the worksheet. So here I need to get a name which does not uh, conflict with the uh, worksheet. Uh, then I have to get a letter, a name which does not whereby I don't have to use a, a space. So I can say Rx pay. So there we go. So when I'm done with that, when I press uh, enter, now you can see the name of the table has been affected. In the formula bar, I have the name uh, employees, uh, but uh, the, the name uh, here is already affected. So in this case, the next thing I'm going to do is to learn how to remove the duplicates. Uh, so go to uh, Tools as the one of the group in the Table Design tab. And then uh, there's uh, this option, this tool that says Remove Duplicates. Uh, click on that, and then you get a dialog window where they will ask you to select all the columns. The columns start with employee ID. So here, normally you can filter and uh, maybe by ticking one of these columns, and then you choose which of the uh, columns you want to uh, check or and see if there's any kind of duplicates and remove them. So I want to select each and everything. You can check here to unselect or check here to select each and every column. So after selecting all the columns, I go ahead and click on OK, and then, uh, wow, my that is good. So Excel tells me there's no du uh, duplicate values that we have found. So I press OK. After that, I want to see how I can uh, export this maybe to other external, uh, other external uh, uh, database and the, so, so to be shared on the network. So here, go to export. Uh, say export a uh, table to a shared point list. So here uh, you need to select the address where you want to export your data by typing the URI and then uh, I said URI is this is hypertext text uh, transfer protocol and URI is the uniform resource locator. So you need to type the link where you want to export your data. So uh, the next thing we are going to learn and see how we can select any of this. Like we can select the first column. When it sele says select first column, now you see the first column is selected. When I select the last column, you see last column is selected. Uh, so here, uh, after that, we've seen how to select uh, different columns and then when you select now, a board will be applied to make it strong. So the next thing we want to see how we can do different uh, calculation, like the sum, we want to know how much um, Alex uh, took as, got as gross pay, how much tax did he get, uh, did he pay, and how much did he went with as the net pay. So how are we going to do this? We are just going to select one of the option here, which is called total loss. So first of all, go to uh, gross pay, click one of the uh, mm -hmm. so select the gross pay oh sorry 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 I made some mistake. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm saying uh, select the gross pay. After selecting the gross pay, then go to total loss, select that, and then uh, you will see uh, automatically, I think this will be affected on the last value or the last law, which is the net pay. So here I can get what? I get, get the total values for the net pay. Now, if I want to get like uh, the other functions, I go and click on that uh, drop or that uh, combo box and then uh, you can select other functions like the average, count, numbers, maximum, minimum. So if I select average, I see I'll get the average automatic. If I get see maximum, I can get the maximum. If I say minimum, I can get the minimum. Uh, if I want the sum, I will get the sum. If I want to uh, calculate uh, the standard deviation, I'll do the standard deviation. Then I have the variance. So this is how we can do different function using the what? The other tool of uh, TotalCam. But still, I want to know uh, what was the total gross pay. So total gross pay, I will say equal sign. Then I say sum. I use the sum function. Then I get the first value. Then I can drag outwards. Uh, select all the selection and then after I close the, the bracket so here I have the equal sign uh, for any calculation in Excel I have the sum as the name of the function I have the uh, parenthesis and then I have the arguments and in this case I use the range uh, so after that go ahead and click enter and then you see the total gross pay go ahead and calculate the total tax I'll say equal sign sum. Then I get the first value. And then I say range. And then I get up to that. Up to that. Then after I close the bracket, press enter. So I get what? I get. I'll get the gross pay, I've got the tax, then automatically I'll get also the net pay uh, uh, calculated after removing the taxes. So the next thing we can do is uh, uh, we can do other functions, but uh, let's say maybe we want to check if uh, uh, Alex uh, paid uh, I, uh, if Alex, the, uh, for example, if Alex and best money, then we can uh, advise him on what to do. So on that case, uh, we uh, can use the if function. But the, I think that one uh, it's it's coming in the next video. We are going to use, see how we can use the if function to advise Alex on how to improve on his uh, work, especially uh, on the number of hours and the, and the, we see how he can adjust by reaching the maximum work period of eight hours using the if function. So for now, uh, we have uh, so far seen how to do tables and some uh, kind of calculation that goes hand in hand with tables and different formatting tools. So in the next video, we shall still continue with different types of functions and other tools in Excel. So thank you for watching. Let's catch up in the next video.